Today we're going to make some keto chocolate. I am type 2 diabetic. If you like dark chocolate, you're going to love these. If you want milk chocolate, it may not be your favorite, but it does help my chocolate craving go away. And it's so simple to make. We only need three ingredients. We need some unsweetened cocoa. We need some coconut oil. And I use monk fruit sweetener, the classic. This is the closest thing I can find to regular granulated sugar. It's really good and you can get it about anywhere. I got mine at Walmart or else. So first we're gonna use a half a cup of the unsweetened cocoa powder. We're going to use half of a cup of the coconut oil. Now to make this incorporate a little bit better, I put it, this in the microwave. I only put it in there for about 15 seconds. It melts really fast. So again, after I put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds, it pours right in. Then we're going to use a third of the cup of the monk fruit sweetener. Again, this is the closest stuff that I can find to granulated sugar. It measures the same way. I love it on top of my strawberries. And you can get it at Walmart, probably about any store now. This is getting to be a, it's gotten to be a standard staple for sugar replacements. So the only hard thing here is you really want to incorporate this really well. You can get a good bite full of the chocolate. It gets kind of grainy if you don't do it right. So just make sure to stir and stir and stir. If you're not sure, stir a little more. It's going to look like about melted chocolate when you're done. You can put it into any mold you have. I'll provide a link to some other ones that I'm getting ready to buy. But I happen to have an ice cube tray handy and it worked out really well for it. So if you've got one of these, you can use it. I filled them mostly to the top. I think I would have rather done more of them and filled them up about halfway or even less to make it more like a little bar instead of a block still worked out well and you can lick the bowl when you're done so the texture of these are even better once they've been in the refrigerator for four, five, or six hours overnight, whatever. But you only really have to put them in about 30 minutes to start eating on them originally. So once you take them out of the refrigerator, just like ice cubes, if you're one of the young folks around, you might not know how to take the ice cubes out. Us old folks used to do this all the time. but they do pop out really easy. And then the ice cube tray cleans up really good or the molds. I think I'm gonna get me some molds and make them more like a little bar. I decided to go ahead and take a taste. Hey, that was pretty good. I think I'm gonna eat the rest of it. So if you think you're going to get Hershey's chocolate out of this, you're not. It's more of a dark chocolate, but it does taste really good. It will help your chocolate cravings, especially if you're keto or you need to eat low carb or anything like that. And now for the rating system. We have four categories. 
one being a lazy chef, five being a full home chef, for a total of up to 20 points. Prep time, it's a one. Three ingredients, mix it up, you're done. Number of ingredients, it's three. Unique ingredients is a three. I'm going to call it just because of the coconut oil. Unique equipment, it's going to be a 1x. There's nothing special here. Maybe an ice cube tray. For a total of 6x, this really helps when you want a chocolate craving and you're on keto or low carb. If you could, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Make sure to click the bell so you get notified every Thursday at noon when we have a new recipe come out. Let me know if you try it. Thanks. Thanks.